everyone. We've got a post review here today. Um, this is my Huacan skull. Uh, I finished it last night. However, you will notice up here there is some missing drills. Um, this color, 445. Unfortunately, I ran out because this is my trash bag and all those yellow ones in there are that color. Um, I'll insert a picture here so you can see close up, but the yellow ones, they all so many of them had little specks of red or brown on them and when you place them down onto the painting um, you could really see it and so I picked them all out which meant that I ran out. Um, another colour I had, I believe it was this colour, 807. Um, a lot of them had little dimples in the top that were really noticeable, so a lot of those had to be thrown out. Um, lots of the gels had the little extra tags of plastic on them. Um, some seemed bigger than other colours, some seemed smaller than other colours. And some of them seemed really soft. I noticed if I was having trouble fitting a drill into the space and I pushed that a little bit harder with the drill pen, it would actually leave a circle in the top of the drill, which again was noticeable. So it had to be removed and replaced with another one. But this is the finished image. Uh, I started this on the 18th of October and I finished it on the 25th of October minus the missing drills which I have ordered um, from an Australian seller so hopefully they will be here quickly. It, There are some drills popping up here and there. I have uh, gone over it with a rolling pin and you hear them pop down but you know an hour or so later they'll be sticking back up so once I get these missing drills and finish it off I'm going to be framing it straight away um, behind glass so that none of these um, drills are likely to fall off um, it's a 40 by 30 centimeter and I think this is a great size for this image. The detail has shown up really well. Um, I especially love like these parts up here above the eyes. I think they look really nice. Um, sorry, I'm just looking if I had any other notes. Oh, the chart. Some of the symbols were a little hard to read. There's one here. I'm a little hesitant to lift this up in case drills fall out, but one here, it's a red background with a black clover on the front. And then another one here is like a, a pink background with a black strange V symbol on it. Um, if I didn't use a light pad, it was very hard to distinguish between the two symbols. So that, other than that, the rest of the symbols were nice and clear. But those two were my main issues and of course those two were together a lot around here in the flowers so and in the eyes as well um other than that I, i'm fairly happy with this um i think in future if i'm going to order from hua can again i'm going to order rounds um at least until they have their squares sorted I'm sure this 
uh, it wasn't as bad as some of the issues people have had. Um, it was certainly manageable and I'm happy with the finished product so I don't feel the need to complain or file a dispute but um, yeah I, th I think in the future if I'm going to buy from Hula Can it will be rounds. I do have one more square from them to do so we'll see how that one goes. Um, so yeah this was $9.80 US plus shipping. Um, again, that was before I knew I could change the currency on AliExpress. And yeah, I, I don't really have a scoring system or anything. I just I wanted to show the finished product and talk about some of those drill issues. Um, there was a fairly decent amount of most colors left. A few were very close to running out. But I think if that yellow colour had been okay, I would have had enough. And it wouldn't have been a problem. So that's my post review of this Hua Can skull. I'll put a link in the description to where to purchase it. Um, and also links to my Instagram and my Facebook page where I post updates and that of my diamond paintings and other crafty things. Um, I wanted to say a thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, and yeah, if, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can do a thumbs down, but you know, I, I'd appreciate if you tell me why you gave it a thumbs down so I can take the feedback and, and learn from it. Um, and yeah, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in a future video. Thank you. Bye-bye.